Welcome everyone, it's Game Camilla here, back at you with another video, and today we're taking a look at Catching a Walking Stick, a bug in Animal Crossing New Horizons. A lot of viewers have been coming to me saying that they, they've not been able to even see one, and, and having difficulties adding it to their collection, so we're, I'm going to show you an easy way, a super easy way to get it without pulling your hair out. So the walking stick bug is available between July and November in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's available between certain times. So you want to hunt this between these times. 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., which I highly recommend since that gives you four hours to work with. And then 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., which is only two. So I highly recommend this actually hunting this in the morning. From there, we're going to use our old Nook Mile ticket technique here. And we are going to take some Nook Mile tickets and we're going to hunt for a specific island. You want an island that has some fruit trees on it. One that is in Bamboo Island. So bamboo. if you come across Bamboo Island, you, you immediately want to fly back and, and go to a different island. Or if you get an island that has all cedar trees, I kind of recommend going to an island that has a mix of the two. And... You want an island that hopefully doesn't have a lot of water. There's some islands that have like the big swirl and that. You, those are a little hard to hunt with. So if you get you get an island that has all cedar trees or all bamboo trees or an island that has way too much water, head back, find another island. It might take you one, two, or three tries at most, but you'll find an island that's to what we need. So from there, what we want to do is we kind of want to do what we do with a tarantula island, except for a few things here. So we want to we want to pull up all the weeds. You want to pluck all the flowers. You want to move all the flowers to a, a, a corner. I do that just to you know, make things easy for inventory. And you want to pull up all the stones. You want to break all the stones. Any coconut trees, you want to chop them down. Any cedar trees, you want to chop down. And you want to leave the fruit trees. What's going to happen with the fruit trees is we're going to actually end up moving them here in a few moments. So once you have all the stones broken up, all the coconut and cedar trees chopped down and stumps removed, all the flowers plucked and moved away, what you have left is the fruit trees. And what you're going to do with those fruit trees is move them to the front of the island specifically like three to the left three to the right of the entrance here you want to just move them a little bit towards the middle there sp spread them out so you can easily see them you can probably really see it in the video here how i have it where they're, they're they're relatively spread out so i can easily see both on the left side and the front side and it's pretty much like the setup that we did with the beetle video that was released a few weeks back and from here, we're going to go left and right, just like the beetle video, and we're going to scare off any bugs that we do not want, scare off any beetles, scare off any um, cicadas and whatnot. If you come across butterflies, now this island that I had seemed to spawn a lot of butterflies, you're going to probably have to catch those. And eventually, what will happen is you will come across a walking stick. Now no lie. From the start to to finding the walking stick, it took me roughly 20-25 minutes to, to have one spawn. From coming onto the island, clearing it out, and setting the trees up, boom, there's the walking stick there. Now, you, your mollies might vary, uh, vary, but they're not, they don't have a really rare spawn rate. It's just the time that really throws people off. And from here, once you get your walking stick, you can you can farm for more you know you need three more to give the flick to have a statue you want to keep one in your house again but you of course you want to turn one into the museum but that's pretty easy how how I came across and how I hunted for one you want to the best way to do it is this method if you just if you absolutely need to get one and you're having difficulty on your island just coming across one by by chance this one, you'll get one within an hour. Tops. They have a very low spawn rate. And you'll see one 
pretty soon. Actually, probably much faster than some of the other beetles that we were trying to catch a few weeks ago. So, this is how you do it. Go out there and, and hunt this walking stick. Add this to your collection if you finally didn't get it. If you managed to get it with this method, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any more difficulties with certain fish or bugs and that, let me know. I'll make a video for you. With that said, check out the Discord. Check out the Kaiju Club Discord that keeps growing. Check out my Twitch channel. I stream four days a week now. I've kind of had to cut down a day. Can't I, I, I just can't stream on Tuesdays anymore. So stream on Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. Links to all those are in the description bo uh, box below. With that said, guys, happy hunting, and I'll catch you next time.